All right, Bitcoin hoodie guy here. Come here. Let's be honest. DeFi is a scam. Most of the projects in DeFi, especially the DGen DeFi projects, don't work out. And if you look at the ones that kind of hang in there for a little bit that some people make money on besides the founders, it's usually a few of the early investors and the influencers that get referral rewards. And they stack up a bunch of referral rewards and they give them a low cost for the units they do have and it makes it very profitable for them. And a few early adopters, and you can say the same, you go, oh, Bitcoin that with this. Well, yeah, if someone bought Bitcoin in 2011 through 2013, those different prices, yeah. Most people bought then, didn't diamond hand until now. Maybe a couple people did, but most people didn't. You know, if you bought something at $1 and it went up to 1,000, that's 1,000 X, that's hard not to be selling some. So, but if you look at Bitcoin, you could have bought even after the bull, you could have bought even at the bull run top in 2017, 2018, you could have bought that $19,000 top and then watched it go back down and that would have sucked, but it did, that did you would have got still a 3X if you'd have waited to 2021 and sold some. And so now it's down, went down to 15, 16,000 and it's up and you got a lot of money that's gonna be flowing into Bitcoin. So circling back to DeFi is, you know, when you go into DeFi and some people know that most projects are going to rug, scam or just not work out because there's not enough people care about them. But it's really what I've heard Bitcoin University say is that it's Dino, it's, it's decentralized in name only because all these projects are centralized with the founder. You know, if they're on Binance Smart Chain, Binance Smart Chain is one of the most centralized chains with the threshold of like 10,000 BNB, I think it is, to be a validator. There's only like 25 or 21 to 26 validators. Very few accounts even have enough BNB. So you just got to be honest. Hey, if you want to dive in there, for me personally, I'm not really diving much more into DeFi. I got my plays and uh, I think that, you know, it's a tough space and there's a lot of people and a lot of people are just DGENs going from one project to the next. And, you know, people have made money on certain projects, but when you kind of look at the whole project, even some of the ones were people did make money, more people lost it, and the project's dead. So, you know, Bitcoin's not dead, and it's chugging along, and a lot of these DeFi projects, uh, they do die, and most of the people involved don't make money. And that's basically it, you know. DeFi is pretty much decentralized in name. Almost all the projects that I know about are centralized, so. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a good day.